Praise the Lord again. This is Pastor Dale again. Um, I talk, just finished talking about Hannah and uh, about fervent prayer and how Hannah prayed and so on and so forth. Um, but one of the other things that God showed me this morning was about fasting and according to Isaiah 58. Now, fasting is a very interesting subject. It's one of those four-letter words that nobody wants to talk about a lot of times, let alone a lot of people don't want to do um, because it, it requires... Well, what? It requires abstaining, and it requires, uh, might have to go through a little bit of discomfort here and there, regardless of whether you're passing, uh, fasting, uh, fasting, fasting for an hour, two hours, a day, two days, three days, or like Jesus, 40 days, and some of the other ones in the Bible. Um, but I have been told over the years, like, oh, it's okay to fast television, it's okay to fast uh, Hershey candy bars, okay? Oh, Lord forbid. Or, <laughs> or fasting something in your life. No, 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 no. So I got looking at this today and I said, what does God really require for fasting? And this is interesting that when you look in the Bible and you look in the original Hebrew language, Hebrew Chaldean language, you're going to find out that it means to abstain from food, period. Not television, not driving race cars, not dancing, none of that. It pertains to abstaining from food and food alone okay in fact it comes from the hebrew word i believe it's called tum okay or tzum and yeah right here it's 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 um actually in our language it'd be tzum so but the definition is very clear it just means to abstain from food period it means actually it means to cover the mouth okay you got food coming out cover the mouth you don't you don't take the food in and that's what fasting really is. Fasting is not giving up television. That's when you do what, what you do in Lent. I mean, a lot of people in Lent will, um, who celebrate Lent, and, and I guess it's okay. It's a man-made religion. It's not a, it's not a, a, a biblical re uh, uh, directive. There's nothing in the Bible about Lent at all. It's something that uh, some, some individuals have made up. Praise God. I guess it's a good practice. But during Lent, they'll give up something. You know, maybe they'll give up sweets. Maybe they'll give up coffee, God forbid. Uh, <laughs> or maybe they'll give up drinking soft drinks or, or, as I said earlier, watching television. But when it comes to actual fasting, fasting is abstaining from food. Now, I know I'm going to hear a couple of guys, somebody's going to write me and say, oh, that's not really true. We can give up what we want during a fast. Well, if you read Isaiah 58 carefully and then you look at the other um, things in the Bible about fasting, you're going to see that they didn't give up anything but food. That's what they gave up. They gave up eating. They covered their mouth. They would not take anything in. That is true fasting. And the beauty about fasting is, is that when, when you fast, man, I'm telling you what, there's a lot of good that will come about from fasting. And um, somebody asked me, well, what's the reason for fasting? Well, if I was to look at Isaiah 58 and the, and the last, half of, uh, last part of verse 4, um, I believe it's 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 so that God will hear our voice. Our voice will be heard on high. Okay, that's just one of them. Uh, and in there he says it's to what? It's to loosen bonds of wickedness. It's to undo the bands of yokes. It's to let the oppressed go free. Because, uh, oppressed go free. And it's to break yokes. Okay? I think there's a, a scripture in Isaiah. I'm not sure exactly where it is. It says the anointing to become so anointed that it destroys and breaks the yoke. And and I believe that when we fast, if we fast properly, that that could happen. And it, in fact, I think it will happen that uh, the fasting we become so anointed by God, if we really follow his way of fasting, that no matter what the yoke is, it'll be destroyed. God will destroy it. I'm telling you, I, I know. Next, um, we are to share our bread with the hungry. Um, maybe it's going, you're, you're, you're doing a drive through You know, you're going to stop at McDonald's, you're going to get yourself a, a Pepsi. Okay, I guess that's fine, or a bottle of water, whatever the case may be. And you decide, you know what, I'm going to pay for the car behind me. So take care of them, because you never know. They may need some, some financial help. They might be down to the last few pennies. You don't know. So go ahead and pay for it. Or you might be in a grocery store, and, uh, and you see someone who she's going through, maybe an older person, or, or, a, or a single mom, and it looks like they're really struggling, they're going through, they're looking for pennies, pay for their groceries, or at, least, or at least help pay for their groceries. And, you know, make food for people. I, I like to bake, I really do. And, uh, 
and I will I will bake you know things like um, banana bread. Uh, I like to make some pies. Um, I'm not really good at making cakes per se, but I'll make uh, zucchini bread and stuff like that, and I will give it to people. Um, I could charge for it, sure, but I don't. I, I want to give these things to people, you know, to bless them, uh, because they may be hungry, they may be lacking of food, or or they just made me. Maybe, maybe just need a snack for night, okay? But it's okay, as long as someone is enjoying it, and I enjoy making it, and I enjoy giving these things out, okay? Now it's also it says here it's it's to help the homeless out. Listen, our our nation is full of homeless. I I sometimes wonder about this nation because we're so concerned about um, the illegal aliens coming into this nation and, Ill, and the aliens coming in, filling up hotels and they're spending all this money when we have so many homeless people, we have so many homeless veterans who need to help and our government just isn't treating them the way that they're treating these other people. And it's sometimes that disturbs me a lot. Um, being a veteran, I mean, it really disturbs me a lot when I see a veteran, know a veteran, that I know who is a real veteran. I don't really uh, put much you know, faith into these people that are standing in the middle of the road and saying, uh, please help me, I'm a homeless veteran, I haven't eaten in a couple days. I, well, you got to show me or you gotta, you got to prove to me that you're a veteran, okay? Um, I mean, that's just me. I, I, I don't, once in a while, if God leads me to it, I will assist them and, and give them something. But I'm talking about going out to where the, where the homeless are. Um, and, and looking for the homeless and looking for those and help those people out. Um, there might be people in need of clothing. Buy them some clothing. Give them some clothing the way that you have in your home that you're not using anymore. And then, of course, that's also the other thing that we should, we're supposed to do when we're fasting is make ourselves available to our family. Okay? Keep in contact with the family. Call them. Love them. And so on and so forth. And these are the things that I'm finding that we should do in fasting. And then if you get through verses 8 through 11... You'll find out a lot of great things happen because we fast. One is it says our light will break out like a dawn. Our recovery and healing will speedily come forth. Did you know that there are some hospitals up in Canada? I read a, a, a report once where a heart surgeon, a heart doctor, a uh, surgeon, you know, cardio surgeon, um, when his patients, after he did cardio uh, surgery on them, he would actually have them fast. He wouldn't allow them to have any food. And it actually enhance the healing and speeded up the healing and the people are so glad that that they that they uh that he told them to do this fasting so i think that's interesting that fasting will actually uh, help your recovery okay um also it says our righteousness will go before us people will see something different about this guy and then also in here that we can be assured one thing god's got our back if we fast and we do it according to the way that he's taught us God's got our back. He's going to take care of us. And then it says that we will call on God and he will answer. That's a promise. That when we fast, we call on God. It says that he will answer. Okay. And he will say, here I am. What do you need, Dale? Or what do you need, Dory? Or what do you need, uh, Lorraine? Or what do you need, um, James? Or what do you need, Don? Or John? It doesn't make a difference who you are. God says he will answer you back. Okay. And then, of course, the other uh, reason of uh, things that will happen, it says here that that um, we need to remove yokes from our lives because there are things, uh, and the pointing finger, there are things we do in our lives that we really need to get rid of. And pointing is, is uh, gossip and, and um, having an accusatory finger, like, you know, better drop it. You know, no, 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 stop doing that. Okay, that's that's not. And, of course, in a set, we're also to, we're, we're supposed to stop speaking wickedly um, or uh, using any kind of wickedness in our speech and um, watch what we say because the day is coming when the Bible says, we're going to be judged according to every word that we spoke. Can you believe that? Everything you said is recorded. Everything. Everything. So, something to think about. That's just my take on fasting. As I said, I'm not a, I'm not a theologian. I don't get into a lot of things. I just know about what God shows me, and I just want to pass it on to you in hopes that you'll be blessed somewhere along the way. Amen? This is Pastor Dale. Have a great, 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 great day. I'm going to. Bye.